Hi guys, welcome to Chrissy's Books. I am Chrissy. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. Um, and this week I wanted to read a really fun summary book because I read a couple heavy books and also summer's here. So yeah, I read The Summer of Impossible Things by Rowan Coleman. How cute is this book cover, you guys? It feels so good. I wanna thank my friend Nicole for giving me this book about two years ago. <laughs> thank you so much, Nicole. She's also a fellow book lover and a very dear friend of mine. And she has the most amazing podcast where she interviews all these incredible authors. So I will post her link below. So definitely check her out um thanks nicole for this book it's the perfect book for reading during this weird pandemic time and it's just a fun summer book so yeah let's jump right in so the summer of impossible things by rowan coleman follows two sisters luna and pia uh they're from uk england and um they journey back to um their mother's birthplace in bay ridge brooklyn new york city um, and uh, 30 years ago, something really terrible happens to Luna and Pia's mom, Marissa. Marissa reveals this to her daughters after her death. So the reason they're in Brooklyn is basically to settle her affairs and just sort of wrap things up in Brooklyn for her. Um, and she's obviously, she's died already, by the way. So yeah, so they're in Brooklyn and they spend some time there. And while they're there, uh, something really weird and impossible and magical happens to Luna. Um, so she somehow finds herself back in 1977, uh, which is when her mom was like a young 20 something year old. Um, yeah, and she's like hella confused about this because she's a physicist. None of this makes any sense. And somehow she's able to transport herself back in 1977. But while she's able to do this, she starts to wonder can she rewrite history can she change uh, that terrible thing that happened to her mom that fateful summer in 1977 and can she change things for the better for her family as well and is she willing to sacrifice her own life in order to do these things these amazing things for her family so that's basically the premise of the book um, so I gave the Summer of Impossible Things a rating of 8 out of 10, <sighs> which means that <laughs> this book was a great read. I enjoyed it. It's an enjoyable read. It's a solid book and I would definitely recommend it. So that's my rating, 8 out of 10. It's a story about love. It's a story about family bonds. It's a story about the things we sacrifice for the people we love. Um, and the things that I liked about this book are that it was so easy to read. It was just a page turner. It was just a fun book to read. I find myself thinking about the book when I wasn't reading it, which is always a really good thing. Um, so that's that was a big thing for me. And um, I also liked the setting of the book. Uh, I like that it was based in Brooklyn, New York City, which I spent some time in and lived there a little bit. Um, and also I like that you got to see what it was like in Brooklyn in 1977, which was really fun during like the disco era. Um, and I love disco. So yeah, that was really fun. And I really liked the relationship between Luna and her mom, Marissa. So whenever they, she, Luna would uh, go back to the 1970s, it was almost like they were friends because they were quite close in age. Um, and I liked that relationship every time she traveled back to the 1970s. And I also liked the relationship between Pia and Luna, the two sisters. Um, yeah, it was just a really nice family bond type of story. It makes you think about um, the gift of time and how time flies by so quickly and family and all those kind of like core values. So that's always really nice when you get that um, out of a book. And the reason why I didn't give it a super high rating is because um, the writing, I would say, is not the most poetical or riveting writing I've ever read. Um, it's very simple. I mean, it's not terrible. She's a good writer. She has the power to actually captivate you, which is really great. But the writing is not like that great to me um and also the characters i found to be a bit vanilla uh which means that there were quite like samey characters i didn't really think that that much depth 
um and uh yeah it was they were just quite like okay characters um i liked that the story was told um from luna's perspective the entire book which is really good there were very few characters in this book so it, you know you didn't sort of lose yourself in a bunch of different characters which is always really great um so yeah that's sort of my opinion on the book and this story i would describe it as an uplifting it's magical it's exhilarating and it's an emotional feel-good book and yeah i enjoyed reading it i really did and i would definitely recommend it um so rowan coleman is from uk england and she actually has quite a few books out which i did not know this is my first book that i've read of hers yeah definitely feel free to check out any of her other books um and i would too i would actually read a few more of her books in the future because they're just really fun easy books to read if you liked the time traveler's wife uh not by her obviously <laughs> um then you will like this book a lot because they're very similar that kind of like fantasy magical realism type of book um and it's a romance it's got a a great love story as well in it and a couple of really great twists that i enjoyed um so yeah that's my review of the week and the song that i would pick to go with the summer of impossible things because you guys know that i like music is sister sledge we are family which is a fun disco song and i just like that song and i really feel that it really matches this book so if you have read this book or if you will read this book you will know why i picked that song um there's a lot of disco references in this book which is you know just fun and that's just a fun song it's about family it's about sisterly bonds and it's just a fun disco boogie song so yeah click on the link and you know boogie on down thank you so much guys